new bridge built over the Connecticut River in the last 20 years is now finished. Adam Sullivan tells us why it was needed and what it means for the entire region. It is a project more than 30 years in the making, but the ribbon has now been cut on the General John Stark Memorial Bridge. Three, two, one. With a quick snip of the scissors, the 1,800-foot span between Hinsdale, New Hampshire and Brattleboro opened to pedestrians Tuesday. Cal Hiley of Guilford was one of the first to cross. I love the idea of being able to walk across a bridge before it's open. I, that to me is like, what a thrill. The bridge on Route 119 replaces two older bridges that were in need of serious repairs. But it also solves a big problem on the Brattleboro side. I think just the sense of, of connection. The new bridge bypasses a busy intersection in Brattleboro and, more importantly, goes over the railroad tracks, allowing vehicles to continue unimpeded when a train is rolling through town. Traffic would back up in Brattleboro, traffic would back up in New Hampshire, Emergency vehicles couldn't get through during the time when the train was coming through. Convenience, economic activity, and a better view are all getting a boost with the new bridge. It's really a central bridge for all of New England. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu was one of several officials from New Hampshire and Vermont celebrating the completion of the new span. It really drives economic dollars, jobs, opportunity, workforce opportunity, um, you know, having the, the partnership. Plans are in the works about what to do with the two old bridges, a pedestrian train and outdoor recreation space are among the options being discussed. It's going to make it so much easier for people to move back and forth. I mean, it was scary on those bridges when big trucks would come. It is a $77 million project, and the bridge will be officially open to cars in the next day or so. Reporting from the Hinsdale, New Hampshire, Brattleboro Town Line, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News.